Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a super perfect and fluffy pom-pom using uh, a pom-pom maker. So this one is by Clover and all you need is your pom-pom maker and yarn. So you're gonna start in one side of the pom-pom maker just wrapping your yarn around and in here it's very important you want to wrap the yarn as tight as you can and make it as full as possible that's the trick to a perfectly round and fluffy pom-pom if you don't make it full enough or if you don't wrap it tight you're gonna have a very loose pom-pom so once it's full completely full as you can see in here close that side and now we're gonna do the same on the other side. So in here you can use your scissors to cut the yarn and now we're going to repeat the same on the other side. And like I said, make sure it's super, super tight and wrap your yarn around as full as it can get, just like this. So now close it, cut, and you're gonna leave a long tail to make sure we can secure and close the pom-pom. So now grab a small pair of scissors like this ones. Um, these are also by Clover and you want to start cutting around and because your pom-pom maker is going to be full it will probably start opening as you are cutting. Make sure to keep it close with one of your hands you're gonna see in a second and here you can see it's starting to open because it's full <laughs> but you want to try to keep it close like this and now grab the yarn that you have left wrap it around once is enough and now you want to make a knot super 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 tight and that's gonna ensure that the pompon is not going to undo or you're not gonna have little pieces um, coming off your pompon and then wrap the yarn around again make another knot super super tight as tight as you can and then you can make a few more if you feel like. Now I'm gonna cut about five inches so I can leave two strands of yarn to attach my pom-pom wherever I want. Now take your pom-pom maker and your pom-pom, put it back together so it's ready to make another one and now it's super important to cut whatever yarn is large and to give the round shape to your pom-pom. So I'm going to use my large scissors and start cutting and trimming the pom-pom and making it super round. And this is the final result. So that's how easy it is. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!